People very, very commonly worry about uh, tiny paper cuts on their, their fingers. Uh, and they usually become very worried about them after a sexual event. So usually guilt comes into play there, but they, uh, they fear that HIV has been transmitted through either saliva or uh, through casual contact with uh, what they imagine to be dried blood somewhere or by vaginal or rectal fluids. What, what's your view on that? I would have to say that HIV is actually a very difficult virus to contract. And most people who are exposed to the virus and are subsequently infected by the virus have had a significant exposure yes. with high levels of virus in the, in, the, in, the, in the source patient. When it comes to transmission of the virus in a casual setting or without uh, a penetrative sex, for example, or without exposure to blood products, the risk is very low. And we don't see large numbers of patients contracting HIV from um, non-penetrative um, sex. And we don't see large numbers of patients contracting HIV through oral sex. And uh, we do see a lot of patients getting infected when their sexual health is not good and they've got genital ulcer disease, uh, inflammatory conditions. But coming back to, to the, the key thing about paper cuts, which seems to preoccupy the nation, do you ever see somebody with new onset HIV disease having had a paper cut and then exposure to uh, vaginal fluids? fingering for example the answer to that would have to be no yes. you just don't get transmission in that way it's very 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 unlikely because a significant amount of virus has to be able to get into the body to infect the patient in the first place and through a, through a small snick in the skin it's very unlikely that virus is going to get in okay. so from our perspective from a medical perspective you'd have to say the risk is negligible Negligible or zero? Well, from a paper cut, I'd say zero. Yeah.